Hey guys, welcome back to the Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. We've got another entry from the Metal series, and it's a doozy. Dawnbreaker probably has the coolest powers of any of the Metal Batman, and he has a pretty interesting story, too. Hopefully, you're reading the comics yourself, but if not, here's a crash course on the brutal willfulness that is the Dawnbreaker. If you like this video, check out our other Metal lists. Maybe start with Batman the Merciless, because he's my favorite. Now get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Batman the Dawnbreaker Shocking Facts. Number 10. The Ring Done Messed Up In this world, Earth-32, Bruce was chosen by a Green Lantern Ring, presumably the one Hal Jordan was supposed to get, after his parents died. The Ring mistook his inability to feel fear with an ability to overcome it, and selected him to be the new Lantern. But as we later find out, this was a big ol' mistake. The Ring basically goes, Wow, you're not scared after a guy killed your parents? You must have great willpower! And he's like, Nope, I'm just really messed up. And then the poop hit the fan. Number 9. He overpowered the ring. As you may know, the Green Lantern rings don't allow the use of lethal force due to the first law of the core, even if the person's willpower is at 100%. But the void inside Bruce allowed him to channel his willpower past 100%, to 117, to 181, then it completely overpowers the ring. That's right. Bruce turned it up to 11. With lethal force enabled, he straight up melts Joe Chill with his ring. And it gets pretty messy. Number 8. He can bring people back to life. Kinda. It turns out, not only can he use his ring to take life, but he can use it to return people to life. Except, from the looks of things, it doesn't do a great job. After killing Joe Chill, Bruce wanted nothing more than to not be alone. And he tried to bring his parents back. Then they came back as freaky zombie things. So unsettling. This didn't exactly work out with his parents, but it could definitely come in handy down the line if he wants to reanimate people he doesn't care about so much. Number 7. His ring has a new ability. Overpowering his ring seems to have changed it a great deal, giving it the ability to create a blackout. This makes everything completely dark around him and does a few things. First, it seems that this blackout nullifies the powers of other power rings, I guess because there's no light to manipulate. But it also allows his friends to come out and play. And by come out and play, I mean kill people. And by friends, I mean gruesome parallax entity looking constructs. Speaking of which, number six, he can summon the coolest constructs ever. One of my favorite parts of the Green Lantern comics is seeing the constructs, but Dawnbreaker blows them all out of the water with his terrifying darkness creatures. They look vaguely like parallax entities, and they are some of the coolest things I've ever seen in comic books. If Dawnbreaker didn't look so lame himself, he'd be my favorite just because of those things. But not only do they look cool, they're also insanely powerful. Case in point, Number 5. He killed the entire Green Lantern Corps and the Guardians of the Universe. Yeah, and when they saw that he had used lethal force, everybody came crashing down to stop him. And he wiped them all out single-handedly. He just caused a blackout and his freaky friends took care of the rest. Easily. I honestly don't think this guy can be overpowered. The good guys are gonna have to figure something out. Number 4. Weird coincidences. Okay, I'm gonna step away from the actual stuff about the comic just to talk about this weird thing I noticed that I'm sure is just a coincidence, but it's really weird. This is Batman the Dawnbreaker, who's the third Batman recruited by the Batman Who Laughs as part of the Dark Knights series. But apparently there's a novel called Dawnbreaker that's the third book in the Dark Days series. And the book is even about an evil group that's trying to open a gateway from a dark world to Earth, just like the Metal series. Again, it's probably a coincidence, but I'm not the only one who thinks that's weird, right? Number 3. He has his own rhyme. And it's not the best. You may know the Green Lantern mantra, the oath that goes in brightest day and blackest night, yada yada yada. But apparently Bruce decided he needed his own little phrase. And it's not great. He says, with darkness black, I choke the light. No brightest day escapes my sight. I turn the dawn to mid to night. Beware my power, Dawnbreaker's might. I don't know about you, but that sounded pretty forced. And not just my terrible Batman voice. Midnight needs three syllables for it to work, and the last line is kind of weird. Maybe he should stick to brutally murdering his enemies and leave the poetry to the Lantern Corps. Oh wait, they're dead. Number 2. He's basically Parallax. I've talked about the Parallax entity looking things in this video, and there's a good reason that we see them. He's pretty similar to Parallax. For those who don't know, at one point Hal Jordan absorbed the power of the central battery, but also absorbed Parallax, the yellow fear entity that had been imprisoned in the central battery. And that's why the rings don't work on yellow. Well, it seems like Bruce went the same way, absorbing the central battery after killing the lanterns. Parallax entities and the yellowish speech bubbles could be pointing to this. And maybe Parallax was shoved into the void 
when he absorbed the battery and comes out during blackouts. Number one, he's a new kind of lantern. It doesn't seem like Dawnbreaker is any kind of lantern we've seen before. His corruption of the ring seems to have turned it into a combination of black and green lantern. Maybe in trying to force a green lantern ring to act like a black ring, it became some sort of unnatural combination of the two. His reanimation of his parents and the black in the lantern's messages definitely seems to be pointing towards this. So if he's also part parallax and has some yellow lantern in there, he's a Yeblin lantern. Or Graclo lantern. Gross. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. Let me know what you think about the Dawnbreaker in the comment section down below and keep the suggestions for future videos coming. I'm getting some serious Wheel of Time vibes with all this talk about the void. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie the Fergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.